What's up everybody, my name is Zach Pascarello and in this video I'm going to tell you how I made $36,000 in just three months owning my own bookkeeping business. So I've had a bookkeeping business for the past three years and I started making these videos so that I can teach you how to start a business and how to grow your business the exact same way that I did. And if you wanna quit your full-time job, if you wanna support your family, if you wanna be able to pay all of your bills with your bookkeeping business, all you need to do is watch my videos, follow my steps, and you will be able to start a successful bookkeeping business. If you wanna schedule a consultation with me, there's a link in the description below. I'd be happy to talk with you one-on-one. -on -one. My only intention with making these videos is so that I can share my experience. Whenever I got started, I was searching for for high quality material on the internet, on YouTube, on Google, and I just couldn't really find a lot of good material with specific, actionable, real help on growing and starting my bookkeeping business. So I'm gonna show you guys the actual numbers. I'm gonna share with you guys actual tips on how you can start and grow your bookkeeping business. So let's stop wasting time. Let's look at the numbers. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I was able to make $36,000 in only three months. And this happened one year after I started my business. So I started my bookkeeping business in 2020. And these numbers that I'm gonna be showing you are from October, November, and December of 2021. So almost exactly one year after I started my bookkeeping business, I made $36,000 in only three months. So first of all, I'm gonna break it down specifically how I made that money from which clients. I'm not gonna give out any of my clients' information, but I'm gonna share details on who paid the money and how I got those clients. And then a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna share specific tips and tricks on how to get your first client and how to market your business. So first of all, the biggest client that I landed in those three months was a big cleanup job that I had. Biggest job I've ever had to do. I did like 2016, 2017, 2018, like a massive cleanup, like four or five years worth of cleanup. And they paid me almost $8,000 in those three months, but I worked a lot of hours to do like a massive, massive cleanup job, like four full years of bookkeeping. So they ended up paying me $8,000. So that was a really large chunk of that $36,000 that I made and I did all the work myself. So I don't have any employees, I didn't hire any help. All the work was done by me. So I made $8,000 from that one client. And then I landed another client similar. They just needed me to do one year of cleanup and they paid me $4,000 to do an entire year cleanup. So they were a pretty big business and I, I don't know how they found me. Maybe it was on Facebook, maybe just through my website, but they actually found me. So I didn't reach out to them. They reached out to me and I landed that client one year cleanup, $4,000. My, my next two big clients were actually monthly recurring clients. So they were two clients that I've had for pretty much the entire year and they each ended up paying me right around $2,000 over the course of those three months. One client found me through a personal referral and the other client found me through a CPA firm. So they reached out to the CPA firm for help with categorizing their transactions and doing their bookkeeping. The CPA firm said, no, sorry, we don't really do that, but we know this awesome bookkeeper over at Harrisburg Bookkeeping, he'll be able to help you out. So that's a great way you guys can get clients. If you're just starting out, partner with CPA firms because they don't really want to do bookkeeping. So they'll give you the bookkeeping work and they'll handle the taxes. I got two more cleanups in those three months and each of those two cleanups were only for the year. So just the year of 2021 and they each paid me $1,500. So right now, so far I've done four cleanups, which is huge. Like this doesn't usually happen. I got four cleanups paying me about $15,000. And then I got two clients monthly recurring bookkeeping, each paying me about $2,000. So right now we're at about $20,000 just from six clients. So four cleanups and two high paying monthly clients. Okay, so after those first six high paying clients, I have about 10 more clients who I actually accumulated throughout the year and they all pay me right around like two to $400 a month. So over the course of three months, they paid me anywhere from like $600 to $1,500. And that's about 10 more clients right there who I've had for pretty much the past year. I picked them up, you know, maybe in the beginning of the year, maybe over the summer, maybe in the fall. But I picked up those 10 clients and they have just been consistent monthly recurring clients. Some of them found me on Facebook. I'm super active on Facebook. I talk about Facebook all the time. Some of them found me through Google. 
I have a Google My Business page, which I recommend you do too. Some found me on my website, and also I actually found some of them. So I do a lot of cold calls, I do a lot of selling, I do a lot of marketing, advertising on my social media, so I have a good mix. Some clients find me, I find some clients, and you need to do both. You need to put out advertising and marketing content on the internet, and then you also need to go out and sell your business. You need to do cold calls, you need to send emails, you need to send messages on LinkedIn, and Facebook, and Instagram. You need to be looking for clients, especially when you're getting started, because nobody knows who you are. Nobody's gonna come knocking on your door, nobody's gonna come to your website, because your website is brand new. No one knows who you are. So you, in the very beginning especially, you need to go out and find those clients. After a couple years, once your name gets out there, once you start working with, with more small business owners, people will start to know you, people will start to refer you. So you might do less selling after your first couple years, but I'm serious, in the first six months, you need to do selling. You need to put your name out there. You need to find clients. Okay, so right now, so far I've talked about about 20 clients, like 15 recurring monthly clients and then five pretty big cleanups. And that brought me to about $33,000 of revenue for those three months. And then and then I worked with 10 more clients. Some, some of those clients were just like a one hour consultation paying me 70 bucks. Some of them were just maybe one month of bookkeeping. Some of them were maybe smaller clients who just needed a little bit of help for a couple hours. But I ended up working with 10 more clients and they paid me anywhere from like, like I said, 70 bucks for one hour, maybe up to $300 for a couple months of bookkeeping. So all in all, total, to get my $36,000, I worked with 30 different clients over the course of those three months and the the clients were paying me anywhere from seventy dollars one client paid me seventy bucks for one hour and one client paid me eight thousand dollars for four years of bookkeeping so that's the massive range of the clients who I'm working with very small maybe just hey I just need one hour can you help me reconcile a couple accounts a couple months here I love working with people like that because you work with a client like that maybe next year they come back and they say hey I had a great experience with you last year for that one hour. I think I need some more bookkeeping help. Or they tell their buddy who owns a different business, like, hey, I know this guy, Zach Pascarell of Harrisburg Bookkeeping. He was great for one hour on my consultation. Maybe you should check him out for your bookkeeping or your taxes. I love working with clients for just one hour. It's just a great way to practice working with with new business owners and it's a great way to get your name out there. And then obviously, everybody loves a massive $8,000 four year cleanup. So I try to never say no to a client unless I get a bad feeling upfront that it's not gonna be a good fit, but I always try to work with everybody. And if for whatever reason I can't work with you, I'll do my best to refer you to somebody else who might be able to work with you. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up this video by giving you my four step process for starting a bookie business. First step, you need to understand bookkeeping and QuickBooks. The second step, which is what I talk about all the time, which is what I think is the hardest part about starting a bookkeeping business and growing a successful bookkeeping business, is you need to know how to do marketing and sales. You need to be on the internet. You need to be putting out consistent, simple, relatable social media content, and you need to be willing to reach out to other small business owners. You need to reach out to people. Maybe it's a phone call. Maybe it's an email. Maybe it's a message on social media, but like I said earlier, nobody knows who you are. So in the beginning, you need to reach out to people if you want to grow your bookkeeping business. The third step to having a successful bookkeeping business is you need to deliver A plus customer service. So you need to have great communication. You need to be helpful whenever they have problems. That's the whole point of hiring you as a bookkeeper. They have a problem, you come in, you solve their problem. And then finally, you need to deliver their financial statements monthly and timely and accurately. That's what we do. We do bookkeeping, we categorize transactions, we reconcile accounts, we give you financial statements on a monthly basis. The fourth step to starting and growing a successful bookkeeping business is hard work. Nothing can replace hard work, I promise you. Having a successful bookkeeping business will be very hard. Don't ever let anybody tell you that starting a business is easy because it's not. The first six months, you're gonna to have to grind, you're gonna get rejected, you're gonna feel like an imposter, you're gonna feel like nobody wants to work with you, but you need to grind for six months, make those sales calls, make that social media content, take those QuickBooks courses, practice on those dummy accounts, learn as much as you can, talk to as many people as you can, network with everybody, Put in that hard work and I promise you will be able to have a successful bookkeeping business.